We have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Oh my gosh, and the Tower. Okay. Virgo, so I'm going to put out two more cards. I did this both in Cancer and Pisces reading. Hopefully they'll fit. We have the Three of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Right. Let me move um, the camera too so you can see these better and we'll get started. All right, Virgo. So, oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm looking at the cards here and I want to obviously point out the two major arcanas, which are the tower and the Wheel of Fortune. And what's also interesting is that we really have two tens. There's a lot of endings going on for some of you. Now, remember, these aren't going to apply to everybody. Okay, so I want to just say that. Uh, watch your moon and or rising sign. I am also wanting to share that I feel like somebody keeps seeing the number 333. There's a lot of growth and spirituality upon you for quite a few of you. And, but you also have to allow this process to happen that you allow it to continue and you don't stop it from happening. There's also a lot of karma at play here, especially here with the Wheel of Fortune. I definitely do feel that the signs of Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio may be of significance for some of you. So I want to say that. Now I want to first, I'm going to health. Feel like something is out of alignment. Now I'm Getting this with braces or the teeth. So if you're having headaches and, for example, maybe you got a crown at the dentist, make sure that your bite is correct. Have them check your bite because I feel like there's something that's affecting your teeth that Therefore, maybe affecting your head and you're having a lot of headaches. So the other thing I'm picking up is I feel that somebody is going to have uh, LASIK surgery or possibly cataract surgery on their eyes, obviously. Um, or there may be something that there's something that needs to get more in focus with the eyes. So it might be that you need a different pair of glasses. So I definitely see somebody going to the, is it the optometrist or the ophthalmologist? I think it's the ophthalmologist, the one that's um, the doctor. So, but I do see surgery for that. Now, something else that I'm seeing surgery for, there's something that's out of alignment with someone's discs. And I feel it's probably more in their neck, but it could also be in their lower back. So be careful of the way that you are hunching over, especially if you are at a desk or if you are doing something. I'm really focused here on this eight of pentacles and these two. And I feel like... This may be some pain, even with the Wheel of Fortune, which has to do not only with karma, but also history. I feel that this is something that has been going on for a while. So there's a need to see uh, 
whether it's the orthopedic doctor or you see a chiropractor or whatever you see, there may be, if there's a lot of pain, because I do feel that somebody may be needing surgery on their back or their neck. I stand corrected, both. There may also be something with your hands that somebody may be having carpal tunnel surgery is something else that I'm getting. Because I'm like, there's a lot of typing or writing, writing going on. So uh, make sure that, you know, you, you take breaks is what I'm hearing. Um, now, I'm also getting that the pain may come and go. And see, that's why I'm seeing this too, as it's, you know, up and down. Like something alleviates it, but most likely it may just be temporary and then it comes back around again. The other thing I'm getting is something with the heart. So I'm seeing like in, you know, somebody going to their annual physical, make sure you do go. If you have, you know, uh, annual cardiac visits or, or, you know, with your cardiologist, um, I feel like somebody's having that checked. The other thing is, um, there may be a minor surgery and for other, one other person, it could be a situation I feel that this has happened already. Somebody may have had like triple bypass surgery or some kind of heart surgery, um, and they're, they're going for a follow up. You know, it's, it's not, but I see somebody, um, going to their cardiologist. The, uh, okay. The other thing I just heard, there is somebody that may have passed. From either a, oh, okay, they want me to say this first, sorry. Um, check your blood pressure, have your blood pressure checked. I feel that there may be headaches that are coming from blood pressure. So there may just be, if you're on blood pressure medicine, something that you need to pay attention to where, you know, it's... Um, because I, I feel like there, somebody could be getting headaches is what I'm getting. So have your doctor check your heart. Um, but I, there's some kind of medication someone's on that may be giving them headaches. Okay. So that's, uh, what I'm, uh, another thing that I'm getting. Also getting back, I feel like somebody may have passed from a heart issue and you may be getting communication from them. That's what I'm getting. I also feel that somebody may be having their third eye opening very strongly. And, but I'm also hearing that this is, this is the time. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. Just got this. <clears throat> somebody can't communicate. I feel like somebody's having throat surgery done. This might be a biopsy, uh, but something with the larynx or the thyroid. I feel like somebody's getting something uh, checked. There's something, but definitely uh, I see somebody going to the dentist, you know, so they're getting, there's some kind of oral surgery I feel that somebody is having. Uh Gosh, there's so many messages and I keep getting interrupted and then I lose my space so or my thought. The other thing is I'm getting something with releasing your past, releasing the the, the wheel of fortune really has a lot for me or in in my reading. See, we have two tens here. Something is trying to end. I feel like there's a shakeup happening. There's something that's trying to end so that something new can begin. And, oh, wow. I'm really, look, look at them writing. Some of you may be journaling. Some of you are writing. I'm also hearing automatic writing. And I feel like it's important to not look at things so black and white to find the gray. That's what I'm hearing. Find the gray area. Not to look at things. See how extreme these are? Happiness. 
I, I feel like somebody may be dealing with a situation regarding matters of the heart. So I feel like this is love where there's ups and downs, ups and downs. And I feel like it's important that you communicate with one another. There's lack of communication. Maybe that's why I was having a hard time speaking too, because uh, communication is going to be key for you to kind of get things back on page or on, on the same page is what I'm hearing. But I also feel that some of you, okay, this could also be definitely a, the ending of a marriage or a situation with getting, you know, with matters of the heart. And I, I'm sorry to see this, but I, I feel that when I look at this, there's something that, you know, the obvious thing is it wasn't built on something very sturdy to begin with. There were leaks in the foundations. Now, I'm hearing for some of you, this can be repaired. It doesn't have to go to a divorce or a separation, but that's where, you know, you you really need to communicate is what I'm getting. But I'm focused on... There's a lot of, uh, see, here's that three that I also was picking up. Okay, I am hearing, oh, gosh, sorry about that. I am getting something about a pregnancy. I'm also getting something about a wedding or marriage. So getting back to some things can be fixed, but it's like, I feel that somebody may be having an awakening or an aha moment when it comes to happiness, when it comes to family, when it comes to love, what you're wanting in love. I feel like somebody may also be having to make a decision in love between two people. I get the number three very strongly here. So there may be a situation where you have to pick who you want in your life. And in order to do that, you say hello to one, although this is the end of the cycle, but I'm seeing it as, you know, home. And there's a situation that you've got to say goodbye to in, you know, it's like you can't have both is what I'm hearing. You can't have your cake and eat it too. That's what I heard. So there's definitely decisions in love or in a marriage that is going to be key, I feel, in May. But for others, I feel that it is a month to... I just get illuminate to see, to see things that you haven't seen before or to see things differently. It's also, uh, where is the love for yourself is what I'm hearing. Where is the love for you? Because I feel like something has to be rewritten. There's something in, like I said earlier, with the uh, out of alignment. There's something that's out of alignment or um, the foundation. You know, there's leaks that. I'm just, I'm seeing tears. I, I just, that's what I'm seeing. And it may also be, but you know, I'm hearing that those tears are cleansing. They're cleansing tears. So there may be a need, because I'm seeing this as you, and then also you as a child. So history tends to repeat itself unless we, we stop and wake up and learn from it. 
Don't allow things that are no longer serving you to stay in your life is what I'm hearing. I, I definitely do see, though, that some people are getting married. I'm also seeing the birth, childbirth. So this, when I see that, it can be the birth of something new. Doesn't have to be that someone's pregnant. But I do feel that there is definitely uh, pregnancy. Um, and I also feel that there could be struggles in somebody trying to get pregnant. But I feel like, hang in there. I feel like something is going to work. Um, if you are struggling to have a child. So, but there's definitely a decision that is being made in terms of love, where your home is, your mental home, your physical home, your spiritual and emotional home. And I really feel like this is the opportunity to, to end that which is no longer replenishing you. But I keep seeing 333. I see 333 in this reading. So there's a lot of growth and awakening happening. Also, I'm getting a message in your life or, you know, that they have to, maybe you're waiting to hear from a message from them of what their decision is. So it's different, you know, for whom these messages even apply. Remember, this isn't going to apply to all of you. Watch your moon and a rising sign, as I said earlier. And if you would like, now I do want to say these are just some messages that I'm getting. I mean, I, there's, and thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.